Minister for Planning and Member of Parliament for Soufre Fosse Jacques, Honorable Herod Stanislas, has assured that St. Lucia's Wood Heritage Site status is not in jeopardy. The minister gave a detailed account to the House of Assembly on Tuesday of an ongoing development within the Peter management area. In a comprehensive report, the minister explained that the present administration has undertaken every precaution to ensure that the development does not threaten the UNESCO World Heritage Site status of the Petors, which our nation achieved in 2004. The minister explained that the development is in keeping with the limits of acceptable change study of 2013, which is utilized as a tool for appraising applications for development within the PMA. Mr. Speaker, I have visited the site of the project myself, and it is clear that the project is being closely monitored by the relevant competent authority and that the developer has paid close attention to environmental preservation and is only building within the footprint of a structure which was already erected at the site in the policy number one area. It is also important to note, Mr. Speaker, that one, there are currently approximately 120 persons from the community of Schwezel and Soufre employed on the project. Over 1,000 trees will be replanted and a nursery for the plants currently exist next to the site. The home is 3,500 square feet and has been constructed on foundation which previously existed. The developer and contractors are committed and have continued to abide by strict development rules. Beach access in the area remains public and in fact, the developer has improved the road access to the beach. A public car park area which didn't exist before has been allocated by the developer. And the developer has also commenced assisting the Sufre Regional Development Foundation with improving the Gropiton Nature Trail. The minister's comments on the project have been supported by the project manager on the site and people from the communities of Sozel and Sufre. It's what is happening here right now, the project, like everyone knows, is an eco-friendly project. Okay, so whatever you've seen happening here right now, okay, whatever the construction you'll see, what happened, everything has to be restored. Okay, I took you all on the tour of the aqueduct, which we're going to restore, make it a beautiful attraction for our kids from school who want to come and see. All right, so the project is not what people make it out to be. Okay, it is something that will help the community and all of us who work here appreciate what is happening here right now. And we are ones for the environment and keeping the environment as pristine as possible. Well, we have a lot of fuss about the project, but I feel the project very beneficial in my, in my opinion to the area. Very beneficial as in, well, most of the guys, we have other guys from surrounding areas. We have guys from as far as Newport Sufre, but most of a lot of the guys are from around the area. Young guys I grew up with that basically were out of jobs or had been work for a while and they are currently employed with the project. I believe it's definitely a good investment in the area because indirectly I benefit because you know for the guys buying the soft drink or the juice and stuff so that's a very good flow because I've never seen in my whole life like consider over a hundred people being employed in a small community like that and I've been in the community for over 15 to 20 years you understand since I got married in the area you understand and to me it's a very good thing for the community and no matter who's in power I believe they should definitely continue let the project continue because it will impact on all of us right here in Sozel and also Sufre area. The project is a good project for Sozel people and also for Sufre people. Um, it's some place that um, Sozel people can come to work because a lot of Sozel people, for them to get to work, they have to migrate to Castries or go to Viewfort or Sufre. So if we have a project like what is going on here, they can take maybe 10 minutes to get to work now. They don't have to go up to Castries, lose ties with their family, don't see them for years upon years, forget, forget their roots, forget their history and stuff like that. In his statement to the House of Assembly, the minister explained that a development spans both the previous and present administration as he cited letters and correspondence 
between the developers and the former Prime Minister, as well as the Minister for Planning and the former Minister for Sustainable Development. Minister Stanislas also presented the chronology of events surrounding the development in Anslavoin. The minister explained that following all the assurances previously given to the developer, the present administration had worked to ensure the development stays within environmental guidelines. Minister Stanislas maintains that there are several issues which need to be addressed regarding the Pito management area and call for the discussion to be elevated, taking into account all who are affected and impacted. Let me say once again, the Pitons are not being sold. The world heritage status is not at risk. After all the promises and assurances given by the former administration, as a government, we have worked with the developer to scale down the development in keeping with the guidelines of the PME. Mr. Speaker, I know the season we are in. However, as re re responsible representatives of the people, we must recognize that this issue is too important for us to play cheap politics. Let us discuss the facts regarding the PME, taking into account the plight of the families who own private lands near the PME, the rules and guidelines established to manage development within the PME, the protection of livelihoods, and the protection and preservation of our world heritage site. I thank you, Mr. Speaker. Like many in Soufre and Sozel, the minister believes St. Lucia must continuously strive to find a balance between development and preservation. Reporting for the Office of the Prime Minister, I am Nicole MacDonald.